got a video from Jamie's Corner <laughs> when a vegan walks into a climate march. I want to see this shit. <laughs> I am so ready, okay. What the hell is up? My name is Jamie Logan and today we are celebrating Earth Day. We are here asking people what the connection is between what they eat and what happens to our planet. The Earth is on fire. We're running out of time. Look at your nice. plate. That's the first step. We need change now and you have to take action personally. Did you make the sign or you just stole it from someone? I literally stole it, so. <laughs> I'm not fully vegetarian, but Ah, uh -huh. real dude. I'm not fully vegetarian, but how farts are basically a major source of uh, CO2 emissions. And how is it farts and burps? Well, like a really good mix of both. Respond to people that say that vegans fart a lot. <laughs> Animal agriculture, read the room. No one likes you. <laughs> read the room. Everybody hates you. And you probably smell. Are you going vegan after seeing the important messages here? Yes! Raise yes! grandma! I will literally marry you. Love a granny. Love a vegan granny. Hell yeah. It's not go much better than that. Let's go. We're, we're over here. Hi. If we want to have a future for our children, for our children's children, we need to make change now. And that's why we're here. Hashem, please. Sir, I have a few questions for you. <laughs> Please answer my questions about the environment. Adito, what do yeah. we have going that, on? Today? See, that right there was an ambush. <laughs> today is a vegan Earth Day, everyone. We're so excited. First ever vegan Earth Day happening around the world. We're here in New York right now, but we have events like this going on in Bobby over 50 Trita. cities and 26 countries. Why are you here? Oh. I came here. I don't think they're bringing sustainability into animal rights here, though. I think they're bringing the animal rights into sustainability. I think that's the important distinction, right? Respect uh, our planet today because it's Earth Day. Everyone wants to help awesome. carry the banner. Hi. Hey, how you doing? Wow. Good. You're so excited Good. to be here today. Why? Because it's a great chance for everyone to kind of see that animal agriculture and Earth Day are uh, intertwined. intertwined. Like, yeah, because animal agriculture is the greatest emitter of uh, CO2, carbon emissions, all kinds of horrible stuff. We are here to talk about something that not enough people are talking hey, about. Hey, there's the, uh, the doctor guy on Twitter. Forgotten his name, I'm so sorry, but yeah, Dr. Guy. We're, we're trusting these people in the environmental organizations, IPCC, ah. World Bank, UN, all these people to, to bring this to our attention, to the world's attention, but yet, j just what are they serving at their galas and their events? They're serving the very thing that we're, that's causing Yeah, I mean, like, animal agriculture, like, is so bad, like, on the ethical front, but also because it's just such a, like, c like horrific contributor to climate change and, like, um you know ocean dead zones deforestation animal extinction species extinction rather so all these environmental why areas. there's too many people that have too much to lose because they're making so much money off the backs of animals of the backs of children i'm angry about it how can people say they believe in climate change and all saving planet earth look at your plate that's the first step, and trust me, it will help the planet. We don't have that much time. If we were to cut out all fossil fuels now, but continue raising and killing animals, like, there's no climate solution. Like, we're still facing climate change. We're still facing ecological collapse. We will exceed our 565 gigatons of CO2 limit by 2030. Very shocking. Very shocking. So, Adita, how, many, how much carbon dioxide is released into the atmosphere in the USA? 32,000 million tons of carbon dioxide every year. That is 51% of all greenhouse gases. I, I am just so um, fed up with my generation. I'm turning 60 soon. And oh. it took my son, who's 24, to like yell at us and say, your generation absolutely sucks. What do we have going he on? He looks good for 60, oh shit. Right. I'm gonna write, the greatest threat to our planet is the belief that someone else will save it. I think that a lot of people think, oh, everybody else is gonna do the work for me, and they don't actually take change at an individual level. This Which is, quote is it? It's not mine, oh. but I like it. What did you write on here? I just wrote, go vegan with my name. 
I just kept it simple. Do you think it's possible to be an environmentalist and also eat animals? No, it's very hypocritical and it's time to stop making excuses and pointing fingers. Like, a single dairy farm produces as much waste. Yeah, it's like the dairy farms, the farm, like, um, like lamb farms and uh, beef farms are like up there for being the most devastating to the environment. As a city of like 400,000 people, think about the, the methane that emits and the pollution that creates, like where is all that shit going? Animals produce enough waste to cover San Francisco, New York City, Tokyo, and more cities. It's insane! It's horrible. I mean, there's just so much waste from these animals. And it has to go someplace and it ends up polluting our water. It's really bad for not only for the earth, but for people. So lots of- And for the animals, like, yeah, where you have these massive, like, chicken farms, um, you know, and then it's washing out into the, the rivers and then you're getting this kind of overgrowth of algae, which then, um, you know, once that, I'm pretty sure once it dies, it starves the, it starves the fish in the water. People end up getting hurt by this and sick from it. Actually, there's a movie that just came out, The Smell of Money, which hey, is Stallion. all about this, about how pollution from pig farms specifically, I believe in that one, um, is really, really bad for the folks who are nearby and stuff. And it's just terrible for the Oh yeah, the, the, the pig farms and then it's sprayed and I think it's linked to like respiratory issues. I think that was in, um, was that in What the Health? It was in, an, an, it was in like one of the documentaries. I'm not fully vegetarian, but no, walking away. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, so do you think that maybe <laughs> one day okay. you'll change to go fully vegan? What is in the way? What's getting in the way for you? Uh, just trying new things, I guess. For me, it's hard to do, try different foods. Mm. Mm. Yeah, I, I find that difficult to like i get into a routine of eating certain things but then yeah if you understand and make the connection like i mean if you're there like for the environment thing like the the environment aspect it's it's such a, a big uh contributor to the problem that i mean that should be um that should be enough i would i, I would think but i mean if <laughs> if we just look at the the ethical component and just think, okay, well, look, I find it difficult to do this thing, therefore I'm going to pay for this person to be killed. He'd be like, he'd be like oh, actually, real quick, I better, like, figure this out. Real quick, I better, like, figure this out. And there's no relevant moral difference, so. I just think that once you make that connection and understand it's not just this kind of, like, nice thing, it's not just this, like, thing that's being requested of you that would be nice to do, but then you haven't got, the, like, the, the space to do it. Once you make the connection, um, these things just kind of follow and, you know, you feel that, you feel compelled to do it. And it's no longer a case of, oh, well, that would be nice, but I don't have the space. It's, oh, I know who I am and this doesn't align with who I am because I don't like killing others. <laughs> Because if we want to save the planet and we want to save the animals, the first step that we could take at an individual level is just to leave them off our plates. Based. Right. I know. Honestly, I think it's important to respect all- I like me too, as long as it didn't come from an animal, Sonny. As long as it didn't come from an animal. All living things, even us, a hundred percent. Why do you think people should respect all life and your fellow animal friends? Like to give kisses, to give to kisses because you're so sweet and so kind and we love you and thank you so much for being here. So uh, how I did it was basically just, I found substitutes for me and things that I liked and I realized, oh, this is so easy. Like there's literally a substitute for everything. So all the water, all the food, all the time, human energy for one cow or a pound of meat, it's, it, it doesn't work. The balance is so out of whack, and here we are. People laugh about it, but you know, cow farts are basically a major source of uh, CO2 emissions because we have so many animals that we're eating. How would you respond to people that say that vegans fart a lot? <laughs> um, I, I can't say anything about that. I have no comment. It might be true. <laughs> I don't think I fart any more than the average person. That's probably true. Probably not more than the average person. Okay. <laughs> I don't think I fart anymore now than I used to. That's actually a good point. I probably fart about the same amount. 
and the fire is symbolic but also real. We all know about the wildfires happening around the world. It's only going to get worse, so let's all just make a positive change and go vegan. I love it. So did you make the sign or you just stole it from someone? I literally stole it. So. <laughs> we won't tell anyone. So choose kindness, choose veganism. The way to do that other side. is to make friends with the planet, you know, and like how we treat animals affects who we are as a person on deep level. When you actually look at what you're eating, violence, suffering, if you can actually take a knife to an animal's throat that, that just normalize the violence right then and there, but if we can learn to treat all beings with kindness, surely we can respect our planet and respect everyone on it, all of its inhabitants. Absolutely. From a scientific perspective, how does animal agriculture relate to pandemics? Uh, so a lot of zoonotic diseases. diseases come from animal agriculture and animal consumption. It also causes uh, antibiotic resistance because 70 to 80 percent of antibiotics in the world and in the U.S. is fed to animals. And if we look, look at COVID-19, a lot of influenza incidences, all of that, HIV, it all... That worries me because like I remember like anytime someone brings up antibiotics, I was just reminded of the time that I had to go to the, the doctor and then there was talk of antibiotic resistance and like not using that they, they tell you to like limit your usage like do you really need these antibiotics like don't keep using them because that contributes to like antibiotic resistance and then <laughs> animal agriculture is just fucking like using most of them it's just like wow way to take the piss so you're gonna like make someone feel bad because they're gonna like take antibiotics if they you know like i i feel like oh no i shouldn't take antibiotics um you know, make people like the average person feel bad when they're ill <laughs> but like you're gonna just fucking it's just amazing always comes from our interaction with farm animals listen what this is is a long overdue response to the environmental movement that, which actually doesn't even address this issue everybody likes to always bring up oh cars trains planes like look at how much they're admitting well actually yeah michael gregor and i remember watching his speech and that that was after like uh, COVID was happening and he made a joke about how like we could expect this to happen and then there will be like a toilet roll shortage or something like that and that was a very weird thing to watch because it's like it, if you look at the data it seems like it wouldn't be so outlandish to predict when there's gonna be like some sort of horrible pandemic um yeah scary shit it's just horrible to think that that that, that and in mass like animals are just being abused killed um confined and you know the, as a result these like zoonotic diseases that could lead to us like being very ill and uh meaning that we have to stay inside and all that shit all because like a large proportion um is because we just can't leave animals to fuck alone Animal agriculture is responsible for 18% of greenhouse gas emissions. That is more than the entire transportation system combined. People are focusing just on changing their light bulbs or taking shorter showers or doing other things. It's all important, but the biggest impact you can have in lowering your carbon footprint is eating lower on the food chain. We can't just wait for governments to do the right thing. It's not happening quickly enough. It's all about money. And that money is actually not going to do anything when the, when the waters rise, when it starts getting hot, we won't be able to fan ourselves off enough. So, Are you going vegan after seeing the important messages here? She yes! She's, she's, going, she's going vegan. Well, thank you so much. Get it, Grandma. Oh, babe, we're, we're over here. We're, we're over here. Hi. Here, let's act, let's act like we like each other. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Eloisa in the flesh front and center, what do we have going on here? Exploitation is not going to lead to protect our planet and we need to divest from that harm. There is absolutely no planet B, so it's either we wake up now or we drive this planet into the ground. Animal agriculture, read the room, no one likes you. giving flashbacks to like the animal rights march um that happens in london 
which I will be attending if it's on, and I think it's my voice every time. Today has been an incredible day. Happy Earth Day, everyone. I hope that by seeing this march, by seeing some of these inspiring individuals, you will soon take the chance to incorporate a plant-based diet into your lifestyle. Best decision I ever made for so many reasons. One important reason. Blaming animal ag on the pandemic is not a good idea. Do you really want people to freak out and call all birds stink people? Um, so if you look on the CDC, it says about 70 to 75% or something like that of um, diseases that we see are zoonotic. And we see it like over and over again. And like... Say if the case scenario, like worst case scenario, they were like, right, let's just kill all the animals. What do you think they were going to do with them, Garuda? Like, what do you think? Like, worst case scenario, like, I've had this debate with people multiple times. I don't know why they cannot wrap their heads around it. But, like, like I remember one time when someone was like, oh my god, you want to kill the animals in animal agriculture? Like, forgetting what they pay, they pay for these animals. Not only these animals to be killed, but then they pay into the industry that wants to kill more, breed more into existence, kill them, then breed more fuckers, kill them as well. Just breed, th it's like, they're like, oh my God, like killing them off all now would be so horrible. But what I'm doing, where I'm supporting the kill them now, then breed more to kill them now, to perpetually just keep killing them and killing them and killing them. It's like, that's fine. And it's just like, oh my god. That like hurts my fucking brain. That just makes me so angry. Yeah, um, absolutely. So, like, and, and Garuda. Don't even, like, pretend to care about the chickens being killed. You, twice now, we have t had two debates, and you've sat there supporting it. You pay for it. Directly. Intentionally. Think of the birds. Think of the fucking birds. Bro. Right, Garuda. No more. All right. See you. Not happy with you. Then ...being the Earth, <laughs> our planet, and our future generations. Okay, so, until are. next time, thanks for watching. Go vegan! True. True. Based in vegan pill. Hell yeah, Jamie's Corner, everybody. Let's go over. Let's go swarm.